Have you ever wanted to create this pretty cool audio effect inside Premiere Pro? Well, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can accomplish that. If you're new here, hi, I'm John the Video Guy. I make video editing tutorials and Premiere Pro and After Effects. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe. It really helps support the channel and shares this information with other people just like you. But for now, let's dive in and see how to create this effect inside Premiere Pro. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And the first step is to have your audio track. So if we click and drag this out here, I want it to end here, but you can see the music just doesn't end automatically. If we click and play this back, we can see what we have to start with. So I just kind of want to cut this off and have a nice reverb effect. To do this, the first step is to grab your razor tool and then make a cut at the end of your clip here. Click and drag your time indicator to that cut point and then go forward five frames. You can do this by clicking and holding down shift right arrow. This will jump five frames into the future. Then you can make a cut using your razor tool. So make another cut right there. Then you can grab your selection tool and I recommend disabling this clip here to the right. So to do that, you can right click and go to enable and this will disable the clip. This is going to be important because we need that tail on the end of our sequence to make the effect work. So the next step is to click and duplicate this small clip here and put it on a different track. So to do that, click on your clip, hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, and then click and drag down to a separate audio track. So you can see I've added and duplicated this clip onto audio track two here. Now the next step is to open up your audio track mixer. So to do this, you can go up to Window, Audio Track Mixer, and you should see this panel appear. This displays all your audio tracks and you can apply different effects to each audio track. So if we click on this drop down here, you can see that each column is an audio track. So we want to work on audio track two. So I'm gonna click on the drop down here underneath this bubble and go to Reverb Studio Reverb. Now you can double click on this and you can make adjustments to this effect. And this effect will only be applied to the clips on this timeline. In other words, just this one single clip here. So these are the adjustments that I recommend adding to get a really nice echo reverb effect inside Premiere Pro. Once you have it set, you can click X out here. And now one other thing I recommend doing is slowly fading out this first audio clip. So if we grab our pen tool here, I'm gonna make some keyframes here on this top clip. And I'm just gonna click and drag down. So it just slowly fades out. So now when we click and play this back, we can see the effect that we've created. And that's how you can create that pretty cool echo reverb effect inside Premiere Pro. Now, if you wanna learn more about Premiere Pro, there's several tutorials on my channel. I will leave one that you might like linked right up there. Feel free to go check that one out. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.